Blake felt the cold air on his face as he opened his eyes. He stepped back from the ledge. Blake woke up. Blake, what a weird dream, it felt so real. I must have slept so heavy I didn't even hear my alarm go off. Blake was seldom tardy for work, or any other occasion for that matter. No time for his morning peanut butter on toast. He couldn't be late, he was still considered new at ICC, only days away from completing probation and he had to make a good impression. Blake, better get going. Life can often be unpredictable, and this was particularly true for Blake. Random happenstances had a way of following him like a stubborn pebble wedged into the sole of his shoe. No amount of picking would dislodge it and it was accompanied by a certain amount of discomfort with every step. And he would never admit it, but sometimes he may have even consciously trod on the stones of spontaneity. On a daily basis Blake's colleagues at ICC would bicker over the best immersive gaming experience of the year, brag about their newest techie purchases and speculate on who would next meet their demise on the popular, weekly e-screen installment of Fixing Good. Max, Blake's played it. Max's eyes suddenly popped up from behind the top of the computer screen. Max, don't you think the offline co-op mode AI in Fucors is totally ven, am I right? Max, I'm right, right? Max leaned towards Blake's direction, with a hand walling her mouth and a forcible whisper she exclaimed. Max, back me up Blake. Orlo spurted out an intendedly inelegant laugh, which in turn made Max giggle. Orlo, bah ha ha. Ven. What are you, from another planet? What the fuck does Ven mean? Orlo, you're just making up words. Max, it means ridiculous. Just like your laugh. Orlo, anyway, he doesn't give two hoots about Fucors, you big nerd. Max, you can talk, you're the only one here who owns a full-on VR room. Orlo, last time you get to use it then. There they go again. Hurry, hey Blake. Oh god, not her. Please not her. He swiveled in his chair. Blake, he hurry. Hurry was a masterpiece, best admired from afar. She was one of those beautiful paintings that could speak a thousand words without saying anything. Seriously though, she could try not saying anything sometimes. Hurry, did you have a good weekend? Her finger spiraled in her hair as she tilted her head in curiosity. Blake, didn't do much, just the usual. You. Why did he even ask? Hurry, OMG yes. I went on a road trip with my girlies to the forest. We ate marshies over the fire, they were delush. And I saw a unicorn. My friends said I wouldn't see one out there, but I finally did. If every sentence she spoke was written, Blake imagined they would always end in exclamation marks. Blake, air, excuse. Hurry, I heard a no-
hurry, I heard a noise in the middle of the night, unzipped my tent and in the distance I swear I saw a unicorn galloping through the trees, I must have startled it. Did she seriously think unicorns exist? Blake, it was probably a cow or a stag, or, something, just not a unicorn. Hurry's skin flushed to a color similar to Max's hair. Hurry, oh. Yeah, you're right. Hurry, well, you should come along with us next time, we could have a barbecue and at night look out for shooting stars. Putting up with her for a whole weekend would be a tough feat, but maybe IT wouldn't be that bad. Hurry, would you come camping with me? I Blake. I'd love to. Hurry, awesome. I can't wait. Blake smiled softly and turned back to his work. A giggle sang from Hurry as she headed back to her female colleagues with a small skip in her step, eager to tell them about the conversation. A slender figure hovered beside the desk. It was the junior tech expert, Lee. ICC snapped him up before he could throw his graduation hat in the air. No one actually knew what Lee's forename was. Most people in the office didn't even realize it was his surname. But Blake had noticed. He noticed Lee's email address started with s.lee, not the standardized first name dot surname layout. Lee was like a ball of plasma that dissipated nervous energy. His vision flitted from one thing to another mostly managing to avoid meeting the eyes, as if they were preoccupied with taking in everyone and everything. He displayed anxious head twitches after every sentence but his voice wore a friendly and happy tone. Most of the time he was elusive, you'd hardly ever see him around the office, or maybe the apt word was notice. Lee, hey Blake. Lee held a smile as his eyes scoured over Blake's desk space. Lee? Just one- Fine by- Lee? Miss- Are you his little bitch? Just one moment. Fine by me, lead the way. Sure, of course. Blake, sure, of course, let's go. Max and Orlo continued to argue over Fukors behind the desk and looked like they were about to try to involve him again. Now Blake had an excuse to slip away from the office debate and abstain from choosing a side. Re, well hello there Mr. O'Gartley, how's things going? Well I hope. Ryan was chief operating officer at ICC. Whenever he saw her around the office she was usually rushing around on urgent business.